Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel guys. This is a paid subscriber's request reading. Information on how to purchase a reading about a celeb can be found in the description box of each video that I upload. Keep in mind guys, this is not a personal reading. Thank you to the subby that purchased this reading. This subby wants to know about Brad and Judy. Brad had a surprise birthday uh, slash proposal party the other day. Shantae Harris, known as the Brad, she's a rapper, and Jessica Dupas, known as Judy, Big Booty Judy, Big Booty Judy. <laughs> She's an entrepreneur and she is the owner of Kaleidoscope Hair Products. They got a reality show on Wii TV called Brat Loves Judy. So, let's see if Brat truly do love Judy. <laughs> I always say my readings are for entertainment purposes only. Let's get started. Spirit, Father, God, and Ancestors, thank you. Please protect over me during this reading. Please give me guidance. Please give me clarity. Please give me understanding. I say, Spirit, please show me the energy around Shantae Harris and Jessica Dupar's relationship. Please show me the energy around Shantae Harris and Jessica Dupar's relationship, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. We have the ring, whips, and tower. Interesting. I'm going to scoot my camera down so you guys can see the cards. Ring, whips, tower. Ring and whip. This is united in hatred. Broken connection, uh, a relationship that is so broken that it can't be saved. Commitment or promise to restore. Ring, you know, like a promise ring. Ring is about commitment. Um, the issue which is being agreed about. The catalyst of a conflict, coherent argument to regret a connection we have made, um, to have abuse in common with someone, predictable argument or conflict, ring and tower. With this combination, it's talking about no link, no connection. No relationship, isolated incidents, um, a relationship which is emotionless, a relationship is for rational reasons, a logical link to not make a promise, ring, talking about commitment with the tower, no. I will not marry you. Uh, to promise something out of pride. United in arrogance. Whips and tower. With this combination, ooh, a refusal. Refusal to confront oneself with other people's criticism. To avoid conflict, to distance yourself. Whoops and tired talking about distance. To distance oneself from what one feels is damaging. To punish someone. Whip. Punish. To punish someone with emotional cold. So like being cold towards someone. To give someone the silent treatment. 
to attempt to control others with aggression, to shut others out because of shame. So the energy of this spread indicate there has been talks of separation between Brett and Judy. Uh, broken promises and silent treatment. Y'all, that's why we should not be calling these celebrity couples couple goals because we don't know what goes on behind uh, closed doors or we don't know what's going on within that relationship. And I was looking at pics and videos that the brat had posted uh, from their uh party slash proposal that she posted on IG, y'all. Oh, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all what. <laughs> this is our subject, but why Judy blocked me about a year ago, y'all? Because I had uh, uh, put on IG on her page. Uh, this was when the little, the little boy, Little James, the situation with the contract and everything was going on. I had put hashtag free Little James and she blocked me. <laughs> but that's off subject. But when I was looking at these pictures that Brad had posted on IG, it seemed like Judy, like she didn't want Brad touching her or kissing her, y'all. It's like uh, she would um, make faces and, and kind of like scoot away when Brad was touching her. It seemed like Brett, like it seems like she is more into Judy than Judy is into her. But with this combination here, I don't know if they're if they they had separated and got back together. But this combination here is speaking of a separation that has occurred or about to occur. But let's clarify with the right of way. Thank you, Spirit. Let's clarify with the right of way. So my camera where we can see. Spirit, thank you. Please show me the energy around Shantae Harris and Jessica DuPont's relationship. Somebody is emotional. Somebody got some emotional problems going on. I feel this is Brat. Thank you, Spirit. Please show me the energy of Shantae Harris and Jessica DuPont's relationship, Spirit. Knight of Cups in reverse, the Moon in reverse, ooh, Hermit in reverse, Five of Swords, and the Fool card. This is interesting. This is interesting. Knight of Cups in reverse. This represents the brat, someone who is putting on a performance. I remember when she said on Dish Nation, because uh, y'all know she works there too, and she had uh, said, may, she had said that her and Judy don't argue. And I'm like, that's not normal because most, every couple has had some form of disagreement every now and then. But Brat's funking, y'all. And she's still baptized in the funk. So, so funked by. <laughs> Brat is emotional and she feels hopeless with, with this relationship. She is so busy trying to keep Judy, keep her happy. She's preoccupied with keeping Judy happy. 
I also feel Brad may be a little bit aggressive. The moon card in reverse. So Judy is focused more on kaleidoscope than Brad. I feel Brad is pressuring Judy for a more commitment like a marriage. I feel Judy's motive for getting with Brad is for publicity and exposure to her brand. I feel she she really need to tell Brad how she truly feels and how she is not ready to move forward beyond being uh being just girlfriends at this moment. She need to be honest. They are isolated within their relationship. Judy is unable to shed any light about marriage. I know Brett had, you know, put on IG how it was her birthday and slash engagement party. We can't always believe everything we see. Because these cards are saying other. Judy is not ready to marry. Judy is fixated and obsessed with kaleidoscope and only kaleidoscope. She is self-absorbed and she's she's using Brad for exposure. Judy is the type that would cut you off or cut anyone off she feel would hold her back. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know why I feel like they they had a recent split. I also feel Judy could like she's cold towards the brat. Although Brat is aggressive, but Judy makes unemotional decisions. My advice would be for Brad and Judy to be upfront about what it is they want because this relationship is broken. And Brad needs to work on her anger and Judy needs to work on being real. Brad is, she's so full of anger and revenge and Judy is just competitive and she wants to win at all costs. I feel that the outcome of the relationship, I feel that I feel like Brett and Judy will work on and address the conflict and drama within their relationship. This this is something the fool is like something new and exciting. And look, we see a flower. So I wouldn't even be surprised if they get married, if they get hitched with this flower. I know something new and exciting is going to happen within their relationship. Because this card is about letting go of worry and fear. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get a message for these two. Let's get a mutual message for Shante Harris and Jessica Dupar. Spirit, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Could I have a mutual message for Shante Harris and Jessica Dupont regarding their relationship, Spirit? Could I have a mutual message for Shante Harris and Jessica Dupont regarding their relationship, Spirit? Goodness, goodness. I overcome my imperfections, polish my character, and feed on the positive. Thus, I free myself, allow my goodness to manifest, and become a source of joy. Through gentleness, I offer unconditional support, understanding, and love to myself 
in others. This card, oh my gosh, it speaks so much about what's going on within their relationship. There's no need to elaborate. Spirit be knowing, spirit be knowing, spirit be knowing. Thank you. That conducts the reading, guys. Oh, uh, Brad and Judy. Again, thank you to the subby that purchased this reading. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below, guys. Be blessed.